Hello, hello! How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbine Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the Let's Play Mech Quest series and you guys are probably expecting a Let's Play Warp Force series this week but uh, if you guys don't know what's going on, please go ahead and watch through the last episode of my Warp Force series. So unfortunately, I'm going to be putting that series on hold for now but uh, instead I'll have Let's Play Mech Quest in its place until I feel that um, I want to go back into Warp Force again, but for now, uh, I am really having a lot of fun with Mac Quest so far. Not so much with Warp Force, so I don't know when I will revisit that. Definitely somewhere in the future, I'm not going to abandon it completely, but when exactly, I do not know yet. So for the time being, we are going to be doing Let's Play Warp Force series on, no, Let's Play Mac Quest series on Fridays, okay? So hope you guys enjoy the content as much as I enjoy making it for you. Alright, so let us get started. Okay, so first things first. You guys can see here, I actually went ahead to rank up the skill level all the way up to 35, okay, off camera. And this actually didn't take me very long. In fact, it took me about half an hour to do so from where we last left off. And I'll say it's pretty fast, okay, especially with the Ultra Omni Knight weapon, okay. The enemies usually take 2 hits to kill, sometimes 3 hits if I'm a little bit more unlucky. But yeah, never more than 3 hits to kill, uh, regardless of whichever enemy it is. And uh, to do was use strong attack. So really, really a uh, fast way to level this up. Uh, getting the uniform gives you extra plus 4 uh, to the stat roll, so that's great. Okay, and I have a small complaint is that each time you rank up a belt level, you have to go teleport back to hometown to equip the blade again because I think the whole uniform changes and it unequips your current at currently equipped energy blade. So I have to go back to hometown, equip the energy blade again, and then come back to university here again to go ahead and take the class again. Okay, so that's a small little complaint that I have. But for the most part, RNG, I would say is pretty much in my favor. And none, the, none of them took more than uh, five tries to rank up a level. The most I had was five tries and then I ranked up because the persistent bonus, it gives you plus five and it keeps stacking up so uh in a sense it's sort of like rng protection and i really appreciate that part of the game however i would i do feel that that uh one thing that they can change is obviously add the equip button here so i can equip my energy blade here so i just got my black belt master and you can see here uh, you unlock the shop here okay these are for your mechas okay uh unfortunately i'm under level and none of these are really good weapons either so you can pass those up there's a nova gem weapon for your character here not such a big fan of this and it causes Nova Gem so we will pass that up. Okay, weapon rack, obviously you unlock everything and I just want to point out that <clears throat> my favorite weapon on this rack has to be Partisan. When I first saw Master Twain before looking at the rack, when I first started out the game, obvi obviously everything is blacked out until you unlock the black belt, right? But before I unlock that, I thought, holy crap, Master Twain's weapon. If you guys are a Star Wars fan, I was a, I am a huge Star Wars fan. For those of you guys who don't know, I mean, this channel's name is literally named after something from Star Wars, okay? So I was a huge Darth Maul fan back when I was a kid. I can't remember how many times I rewatched episode 1. I know a lot of people don't really like the prequels and, uh... I actually enjoy the prequels a lot, especially the uh, Revenge of the Sith. That's probably my favorite movie of the entire Star Wars trilogy. But I rewatched uh the Phantom Menace probably the most number of times out of all the Star Wars movies. That and the Clone Wars, because I actually have a CD for both uh the Phantom Menace as well as the uh, Attack of the Clones. Okay, those are the only two Star Wars movies that I actually had a CD for, and it was released during the time when I was like, uh, I was under twelve years old. I actually had two with uh, Attack of the Clones CDs. I do not know why I have t both, but uh, they are essentially the same. I had one for Phantom Menace, but uh, it got lost somewhere along the way, and I no longer have it anymore. But yeah, I just wanted to point out and. Being a huge Darth Maul fan, when I first saw Master Twang, I'm like, oh man, this is so cool, I really want this weapon. And then when I reached the Black Belt, I saw the Partisan weapon. Oh my god, this is by far the best energy blade design in the entire MQ universe. How can you not like this? This is freaking cool. It's even better than the Double Saber. Okay, unfortunately, it is for Star Captains only, so I'm unable to hold it. I will equip this weapon, okay, uh, if I can. And it's mainly just for the looks, not even for the damage. I mean, the damage is not bad, but obviously the looks, man, this is 
Perfect, okay. And I know I spent 5 minutes gushing over the weapon and talking about how much I like it, but yeah. Let's go ahead and face Master Twang now. Okay, so now you can do him as a black belt. Uh, you also have a chance of dueling him multiple times. Okay, uh, throughout your energy blade training. I don't know if this is a slightly buffed up version. I don't think so. Okay, but you can see here very easily just uh, destroyed him with this Ultra Omni Night Blade. Alright, so that is the energy blade training done. And for today's video, we are going to be continuing with the uh, main story, which is... What, what was that again? Oh my god. Power cells. Okay. Yes, and how do I access this? Mission log. It's here, right? Yep. King Gaydon, let's go. Okay, so you actually need to collect 10 power cells in order to go ahead and uh, finish of the stupid power cells mission. So that's what we have to do. I don't know how many I've collected already. I didn't bother to go and count, but uh, we'll just finish it off today and continue with the next part of the main story okay as for the side jobs and side quests all that kind of stuff i will probably go ahead and do them off camera if you guys would like to see them on camera please do let me know i will go ahead and do them on camera if you guys want to see them otherwise i'll just work on the side stuff off camera and we'll just do the main story on camera okay because uh really the main part of the main point of this is obviously to relive uh of this entire series is to relive the entire uh mac quest storyline okay so that's what we are going to be focusing on once in a while i may uh, do some side quests on camera if i find it uh, very fun or i think there's something interesting to point out then yeah i'll do it on camera but oh man we did not get the power cell come on so I did not find out if it was scripted, uh, how many times you have to do this in total, or if it's just completely random whether or not you get the power cell or it gets destroyed. But yeah, we'll just keep walking and... Red politics. Okay. Also, the num damage numbers is bugged not only for... Not only for the mecha combat, but uh, for the laser blade combat as well, because uh, there were a few times where I did one damage and like I took off more than half of the enemies HP but that's why I noticed that oh the laser blade combat uh, numbers were bugged as well I thought only this one was bugged maybe it's only bugged for the higher numbers I, I could never tell with the basic blade because uh, it was just low damage anyway so whether or not it was bugged I couldn't tell at all okay so looks like we still need to uh, get power cells a few more times and this is a little bit annoying for a new player in my opinion like for someone even a veteran like myself, I was not aware that you had to do this like 10 times or get 10 power cells. There was also no indicator anywhere saying that you need to get 10 in order to progress on. So as a new player, I would uh, probably think, hey, am I doing something wrong? Because I am clearly not progressing in the quest and uh, nothing is being updated. There's no counter anywhere showing how many power cells I collected, all that kind of stuff. So as, as a new player, I would probably be confused like, what uh am i doing the right thing is there something i'm missing out why uh am i still why do i still have to keep doing this quest like why am i repeatedly doing this quest and making no progress at all right so that is what you actually have to do so you just have to keep doing it you can keep count uh keep track by yourself but i am not keeping track so uh we'll just keep continue to do to do this until we get all 10 all right and i don't know if it resets uh when you leave when you log out of the game or you actually have to do it all in one sitting man if you have to do it in one sitting i'm going to be a little bit pissed off honestly speaking okay so let's see here i think we got two so far man if it resets on logout then that is another big bummer that they should definitely change i mean not that my quest is being updated anymore but uh should they decide to change their mind at some point of time in the future and decide to you know update mech quest again then this is something that they can definitely look into okay so looks like that's three i think i have a feeling that I'd probably we settle on logout man that really sucks which means you have to do this all in one sitting wow 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 am i wrong i don't know man three did i get more than seven the previous time I can't remember, but I felt like I did it quite a lot of times previously. So, I already got three this episode, if I'm not wrong. So, yeah, let's let's just see. I guess we'll only know later on. If I need more than five this episode, then I'm probably thinking that 
uh, they, they reset the progress when you log out, which really sucks. Just save the progress, it's not hard, come on. Okay, done. This is 4 already, right? Yeah, I have a super strong feeling that the progress resets when you log out. That really sucked. Maybe I should have done this off camera. I'm sorry you have to watch through this again, guys. But, you know, I always want to show you... Uh, I always want to be transparent, show you guys everything that I'm experiencing, especially as a Let's Play episode. For new players out there who are watching this, then at least you guys know what to expect, okay? So, uh, I'm probably guessing that you have to do this entire thing in one sitting, which is a big no, in my opinion. And if it's RNG dependent, then yeah, it could take an hour, maybe maybe longer. Oh no, we didn't get it. That sucked. Man, maybe I should have just persisted last episode and finished this thing. <laughs> Before quitting the last episode, oh well. I mean, we do need some EXP and go to level up anyway, so I guess uh, that's fine. We need to gain a little bit of credits for when we reach the next new level. I mean, we can use Golden Mech all the way, but I do want to try out some other new mechas, especially when we go on to other planets, then maybe I'll buy some new mechas to try out. Some of you have suggested the Westion mechs, which I'm pretty excited about. Also, because Westion was a large part of early gameplay and it's also a large part of my childhood as playing mech quest like westion was the bombs man like the cowboy mecha and the i don't know what was that called i think it's called the wrangler then you had the kale snake you had a whole bunch of stuff that and zargon which was the superhero planet both of those load uh planets left very deep impressions on me the other planets like the vampire one not so much okay so let's continue here Lost six levels, nice. Now oh, let's finish this off. Come on again? You gotta be kidding me. And this guy, I believe he can heal his own HP as well with that uh, glowing red arm attack. I think there's some vampiric effect going on there. If I am not mistaken, I, I can't remember exactly. There's no pop-up though. <coughs> Excuse me. Can the laser pointer kill him? Yup, nice. Please. Okay, nice. We got another one. Yeah, you have to do it all in one sitting. Oh, man. Let's see how long we take, though. Okay, so I spend about five to six minutes talking crap about... <laughs> no, talking about the entire late energy blades thing. So let's see how long it really takes to find 10 power cells. I mean, it'll probably take longer if you are not using an OP mech like this one. If you're using the basic mecha, then... Yeah, I would imagine it'll take a long time. Especially if uh, you don't have this mecha that cuts their levels, then you'll probably need to wait until you're like level 10, grind to level 10, get some level 10 equipment and then go in ahead to do this. But uh, with this OP golden mech, obviously I don't need to wait till I'm level 10, so that's one good thing. It's been about 10 minutes, okay, slightly under 10 minutes, and I think we are more than halfway through, so it doesn't take that long if you have an OP mecha here just crushing through everything. Maybe it might take half an hour, I don't know. My guess is it'll take around 20 minutes to finish this, uh, to get all 10 power cells, let's see. Oh wait, no! Oh, it does save! Oh, okay, I was mistaken! 
Did we get lesser power cells? Last episode than what I remember. I thought we got a lot last episode. Okay, but this is definitely less than 10. Okay, so it does save your progress. Huh. I was mistaken, apparently. I thought we got a lot more power cells last episode. Apparently, we didn't. Okay. Nice, so we found a black box. Ah, hmm, a black box. Well, I can just destroy that. We know this was the work, the work of the rebels. Nah, let's watch it. <clears throat> I mean, we've come this far. Obviously, I want to watch it, right? And who... I was the one who found it, so who are you to tell me to destroy it, man? Calling home base, this is Hudson from Battlecruiser 5, reporting the daily update. Hear you loud and clear, Commander. Looks clear today, we are going to take one more pass and then turn for home. Roger that. Warning, warning, unidentified object approaching. It looks like a shadow side fighter, sir, nothing we can't handle. Set shields to 100%, let's show these aliens what taxpayers' money can buy. <laughs> oh man, wow. Shields are holding. These things aren't even making a dent. Excellent. Now let's fire some shots of our own. What do we have in inventory? We have tickle, smack, knockout. I'm going to heal so hard. Your grandchildren will have headaches. Surprise me. Okay. And yep. Completely wreck them. Sabotage. TW17713. Damage report. Critical damage detected. Major shield malfunction. Divert power to shields. Unresponsive sir, looks like someone destroyed the shield generator. TW17713 predicts a 98.76% chance of total failure. Uh, suggests evacuation. Everyone to the escape pods. Wow. Okay, so looks like they got sabotaged. Score more victory for Team Slug Rev. The rebels will never know what hit them. Okay, rebel leader. Destroy the rebel leader. I guess it's just a simple boss fight. This is our chance to defeat the rebels once and for all. Their strength seems to be weakening. If we can defeat their leader, their morale will be crushed. Strike now while the opportunity is at hand. Yes, of course. This is not the rebel leader. I think you need to walk back to base to heal. I don't think you get a heal after this. And I can't remember, but I don't know if there's a limited number of times you can heal. Yeah, there's a limited number of times you can heal, so we want to be careful with that. So I'm not going to use my heal just yet. We'll continue walking. Oh god, that was bad. We missed. And I hope that doesn't screw us. Uh, this will be close. I'm going to need to have to stun him. Otherwise, I think I might not make it. Oh man. Okay, nice. We got a stun. But I don't think we got a burn. Wow, this is looking very unlucky. Man. Okay, it's all down to luck. Uh oh. Okay, so I'm going to have to. Okay, nice. That was too close for comfort. Okay, so now we have to walk back. And we definitely need to repair now. I think I can survive two battles without healing, but I don't think I can go any more further than that, so yeah. Even if you are lucky enough to defeat me, you will never be able to destroy what we stand for. Okay, let's go. Rebel leader, ooh, 400 HP for this guy. Nice, I think he got a crit there. Was this an early version of the Hawk? The Bulk Mecha? Wow, I, I didn't know this thing existed. Well, I always thought the Bulk Mecha was like the first of its kind, but it looks like this was the first inspiration for the Bulk Mecha. Cool. Huh. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, nice. You got a stun off. Okay, so I think we can win him. This is going to be pretty close. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Got a crit as well. What? Wait, what? So I guess we got some assistance from the King Gaiden as well. That's kind of nice. Okay, he ejected. Coward, I expect as much from Slugwear's lapdog. You fight with no honor, relying on backstabbing to win your fights. Tell King Gaiden that you will never be able to destroy what we stand for. You have sold our entire civilization for an anti-promise of mercy. Your new leaders will show you none. Now you have what you wanted. 
If you are indeed Slug Rev's loyal servant, then crush me if your mecha is a symbol of how the Shadow Scythe will crush you, honorless cowards. Let's go the good route. Let's rescue her and see what she has to say. I thought that it would be a useful tool. Obviously, I was wrong. Resisting the Shadow Scythe is futile. You should have stayed on the winning side. Oh, well, it's time to tie up loose ends. Goodbye. Okay, so... Looks like the one who is really on the side of the Shadow Scythe is the King Gaiden. Okay. Definitely, uh... Not something that I expected coming from the King. I would have expected maybe at least one of his subordinates to have done it. Or maybe there was someone pulling the strings behind the scenes. But it looks like it was him all along. Huh. Why though? You are a freaking king or ruler or whatever it is. Like, why would you side with the enemy? That makes no sense. I'm Admiral Odisha Pureheart, leader of the Soluna Defense Forces. You have been deceived. Deception is Slug Rev's greatest skill. We were his most loyal elite guard. All his agents sabotaged our battle cruisers, shield generator, and now we are stranded here on the moon. Under constant attack from Shadow Side, but Slug Rev has failed. We have yet to be defeated. He has opened the door to the Shadow Side invasion. Only Wallach and the exceptional students at Gears University stand in his way now. But it is not enough to withstand the full force of the Shadow Scythe Armada. We must find a way to create alliances with other solar systems now, otherwise all will fall to them. But first, we must eliminate the Shadow Scythe here on the moon. Let us return to the moon base and regroup. Okay, this is really bad. The rebels are actually the elite forces of the Soluna defense forces. It looks like King Gaiden Slug Rev sold out the planet to the Shadow Scythe. Oh, okay, for money. Of course. Uh, defend the base and rescue. Let's do defend. And then we'll try our rescue next. Lost three levels, okay. These battles are getting closer and closer as we level up, but it's okay, we can swap out for the level 10 version of this mech soon I think. Uh, these battles are getting a little bit too close for comfort honestly speaking. But uh, we'll still be able to beat them just fine thanks to the hit weapon. Okay successfully defended. Nice. Rescue. One of our units is deep behind enemy lines and needs an escort. Please go to his aid immediately. Be careful, not all of my soldiers trust you yet. You'll be using a military grade GPS navigation system for this mission. Do you need instructions for how to use it? Nav system is extremely easy to use. If you show the locations of enemy and friendly signals, simply click where you would like to go on the map and your mecha will walk there on autopilot. You may return to the repair truck if you need repairs, but you only have enough supplies to heal you seven times. Oh, I remember this one. This is pretty cool. Okay. Let's go here. So only seven times okay. Fair enough. Uh I remember this mini game. This is quite a nostalgic part for me as well. I do remember playing this mini game uh back when I was younger. Almost it's almost a little bit similar to a chess style game, so yeah, I think it's quite fun. Nice, and I think we can just go on without repairing, so let's continue. Ooh, okay. That's not the right way. Can we go here though? Can we go underneath here? We can't. Huh, okay. So I guess we have to walk through this clump of Shadow Scythe. Lost six levels, okay, that's good. So yeah, we're going to have to fight through an entire clump of Shadow Scythe in order to get through there. We might be able to last one more but I don't want to risk it and I think uh, we should just make full use of the repairs. We got 7 anyway. AJ give you a lot more than what you need. And if you walk here, you see that there's another giant crater. So that sucks. Let's go for this one.
Now let's stun and burn. Alright, time to finish him with the shoulder weapon. Nice. I forgot if there is a boss fight at the end of this, but I, you know what? I am actually going to go ahead and uh, what do you call that? I'm going to go ahead and repair before we face off against the final one in case there is a boss fight of some sort. And this is going to be very close, okay? Because the head weapon didn't cut down as many levels as I would like it to. I did the flame thrower first in hopes that it will cool down faster so I can use it again to stun him. Okay, nice. It did. Stun. Okay, nice. Okay, technically we didn't need the stun, but uh, just in case, insurance. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go back and heal first in case there is a boss fight. I don't know if there is one. But we still have plenty of heals left. Oh, and your EP slowly regenerates over time, but your HP doesn't. Cool, I didn't know that. Hey, aren't you? Let's play MQ. Your suck refs agent, prepare to die. Current reputation is 10. Huh. I think you have to play this quest until your reputation hits 100? I'm not entirely sure, but... Yeah, if I'm not wrong, I think you have to do that. So that is the sucky part of the early story. Like, you just have to keep grinding at the same quest over and over again okay and the good thing about this is at least this has a counter to show you where you've progressed so far but uh still i'm not a big fan of doing this over and over again okay so we earn faction points that could have gone smoother but the soldier is at least grateful they recovered the eject pot what a waste of a good mecha okay so yep so what I think we have to do this until we hit 100 and you know what, I'm going to call it on, uh, I'm going to call it for this episode today. I will do this off camera and we'll return next week with the next part of the story. I think after this is done, maybe there is one more boss fight, I'm not entirely sure. And then I think that's when you progress to the next planet which is Westion which I'm quite excited for. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host Korriban Gaming. Peace out.